Hi, I'm Mike Biggs and welcome to Ask Mike, which is a question and answer session which is designed to help you as a gardener uh, make your gardening easier, more successful and a lot more fun. And as usual, this is a no hype zone. Today's question comes from John from Burlington in Illinois and he wants to know if it's okay to put expanded clay pebbles in the bottom of his pots of soil mix to improve the drainage. It does seem a no-brainer, doesn't it, to put something porous in the bottom of the pot underneath the soil to improve the drainage. However, even though it seems logical, it doesn't actually work. This is because it's a characteristic of potting soils and soils, whether in pots or in open ground, that when you change the texture, which is the character of the soil or the medium, abruptly from one thing to another, say from potting mix to expanded clay, it creates a situation where you get a perched water table after irrigating. Now when you irrigate, you introduce water into the top of the pot, it infiltrates down through the potting mix and out through the bottom of the pot. After you stop irrigating, the gravitational pull will continue to pull water down through the bottom of the pot until the point where the ability of the soil to retain the moisture actually overcomes the ability of the gravity to remove it. This leaves a saturated area at the bottom of the pot and this is known as the perched water table. By introducing the expanded clay, you're actually reducing the depth of soil in the pot. Briefly, this means that the perched water table is still going to occur above the clay pebbles just as it would in the bottom of the pot. What you are in effect doing is creating a false bottom for the soil and this occurs in all types of soil mixes and pots. The depth of the perch water table depends on a number of factors, but the openness or tightness of the medium is a major factor. This saturated area can take up a large proportion of the soil, and the effect of introducing the expanded clay is to actually reduce the amount of soil available to the plants. Now in any given medium, the perch water table is the same for that medium regardless of the size of the pot. Now, if we take an example, if we take cocoa coir for instance in a pot, and the perch water table say one inch deep. Now if we were to put that cocoa coir into a large pot, a tall pot, then the proportion of the one inch that's saturated to the proportion of the rest of the potting mix is very small. If you take that same volume of potting mix, put it into a very shallow pot, which is say two inches deep, and that two inches then uh, is the total volume of the soil, and of that two inches, one inch is still the perch water table. And that one inch is now 50% of the volume of the pot. And the reason we can't have saturated soil, of course, or so much of it, is that it will stop the roots from getting the oxygen and will eventually kill the roots. So John, in short, the only reason for putting a very thin layer of clay pebbles in the bottom of the pot is to stop the soil washing out through the holes of the pot when you irrigate. But even that is usually not necessary with modern potting mixes. Well, thanks for joining us. If you have any indoor gardening questions, just email. This is Mike signing off.